Hi, I am Diasha. This teacher guide is about our Mindset Learn series on electrostatics. In this guide, we tell you what the series of lessons is about and how it links to the curriculum. We also discuss ideas for using the lessons with your learners. You may want to make notes, so have pencil and paper ready. There are five lessons in this series. In these lessons, we will investigate how static electricity is generated and how it affects us in our everyday lives. In this series, we address the theme of electrostatics that fits into the core knowledge strand of electricity. We have addressed learning outcome one, learning outcome two, and learning outcome three in this series. The learning outcomes and assessment standards for each lesson are stated at the beginning of each video lesson in the series. In addition, lesson outcomes linked to these are also given for each lesson. In the series, we have adopted an inquiry approach. We conduct many different investigations and use the results of these to construct our knowledge about how and why objects are charged. Throughout the series, we provide learners with suggestions for conducting their own investigation and encourage them to explain the observed results. This theme of electrostatics also provides opportunity to examine and compare knowledge claims from different knowledge systems, and we have looked at ways scientific knowledge about electrostatics can be used to explain lightning. We then show how this knowledge has been applied in the making of lightning conductors. The success of these video lessons depends on the way you use them in your classroom. We suggest that you watch the lessons yourself as part of your planning. To get the full benefit of the lessons, your learners need to engage actively with the concepts presented. So, when you preview the videos, think about how to introduce each lesson and what follow-up activities will be useful. Also. Watch out for places in the video where you could pause to have a class discussion or ask learners to complete an activity or solve a problem posed in the video. We have used this pause icon to suggest some of these places to you. As you watch each lesson, make a note of materials and other resources you might need to bring to the class. For this series, you will need to get learners to collect a variety of different cloths and plastic. These can be used to repeat the investigation shown in the video. Assessment is an important part of teaching and learning, and the lessons provide opportunities for a range of different types of assessment. When you pause the video for learners to do an activity, you can assess their understanding of key ideas in the video and adjust your lesson plan if necessary. The task provided at the end of each lesson is always linked to at least one of the lesson outcomes, and thus provides you with a useful assessment opportunity. In this series, we have focused on the assessment standard that requires learners to communicate scientific information and arguments. The tasks given encourage learners to explain processes by drawing diagrams or making a presentation. In the first lesson, we trace the origins of electrostatics to Thales, a Greek scientist who lived more than two and a half thousand years ago. Thales was different to other Greek philosophers. We suggest that you ask your learners to look out for these differences and then discuss them as a class to evaluate knowledge claims of different knowledge systems. We also show how objects become charged when they are rubbed and identify important differences between insulators and conductors. We suggest that your learners try the experiments shown and discuss their results when you see the pause button. In lesson two, we demonstrate how a van der Kraft generator works and show a hair raising demonstration. This demonstration leads us to carry out further simple investigations, which your learners could also try for themselves. We use the results from these experiments to describe the behavior of charged objects. In our third lesson, we investigate the pattern of electric fields that form around different charged objects. 
the electric fields are used to explain the behavior of charged objects in the same way magnetic fields are used to explain the behavior of magnets and magnetic materials. In the task for this lesson, we ask learners to compare the similarities and differences between the electric and magnetic fields. By tabulating their observations, learners will have a better understanding of these force fields. In lesson 4, we investigate the effect an electric field has on neutral objects. We look at three examples. An isolated neutral polystyrene ball held close to a van der Graaff generator. A charged rod held next to a stream of water and dust collected on a television screen. We ask learners to engage in these investigations by asking important questions that they need to discuss. Once again, we have signposted these opportunities with pause buttons. In our final lesson of the series, we investigate lightning. We explain why it occurs and why it is extremely dangerous. To deal with this danger, various safety devices have been designed. We show how a lightning conductor is used to protect a building with a thatch roof. This fascinating topic needs further investigation. The task provides learners with an ideal opportunity to engage with indigenous knowledge related to this topic. There is a set of lesson notes for this video series on our website. These notes give a summary of the key points of each lesson and the tasks and suggested task answers. More detailed teacher support for this series, including additional ideas for assessing your learners' progress towards the assessment standards, is also available on the website. We hope this teacher guide has given you a useful overview to the videos in the series and will help you to use the mindset resources when teaching electrostatics. Goodbye.